So it's been reported recently that Voyager 1 um, was believed to have left the solar system. Um, rapidly became clear that it may not actually have done and that there might be a bit more solar system than they thought. Uh, this isn't the first time this has happened. Uh, Voyager 1 leaves the solar system is a headline a bit like um, the Rolling Stones embark on a farewell tour. The reason this happens is because every time they think that Voyager is about to get to the very edge of you know, our little bubble of the universe, um, it turns out there's a little bit more that they hadn't previously thought of. This, uh, this ancient spaceship, which has been travelling for 35 years, keeps sending back more data and telling us things about the solar system that we didn't previously know. The, the most recent bit uh, was called the, the Magnetic Highway, uh, which NASA scientists simply didn't expect when it reached it a few months ago. Um, now it's left that and is in another unknown bit, but it's not clear whether it is still the solar system or the wider galaxy yet. Um, the uh, various stages of the solar system are still very much unknown. What's happened is the sensors have started sending back um, data showing that the, the rays that, it's, that have been hitting it are now coming less from the sun and suddenly dramatically more from the rest of the galaxy. But NASA says that until they the magnetic field that it's also traveling through changes, they won't consider it to be out of the solar system itself. A few facts about the Voyager itself and its epic journey. As if it's a machine that's 35 years old, it's running some pretty ancient technology. Its hard disk space is about 1 16,000th of that in an iPod Nano. It's been traveling for a long time and it's traveling very, very fast, but even for, after 35 years of traveling at thousands of miles an hour, it still really hasn't made it even off our doorstep. Um, if you can imagine that the journey from here to our nearest star was the same as the journey across the Atlantic, like the Mayflower made. Um, it would, the Voyager, after its 35 years of travelling, would still only have made it to the edge of Plymouth Harbour. And as ever, if you like this stuff, please do subscribe to our channel.